Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at bills of material and what they are. So if we go into the bills of material section of our main panel, okay, we've got our list of all our different pieces. Now, if we go to a print BOM, okay, we have a few different types of bills of material. So we can do a part stock list, assembly and costs, a pieces list, or an illustrated assembly. Um, essentially, these are just uh, different options for information that you may want around one of your pieces. So you may want to know what's involved in creating it and the costs. You may just want a list of pieces. You may want a um, image list of pieces so you can see an illustrated assembly to see exactly what goes into it or just a, a list of the parts that go into it and what's left. Now, you can actually omit zero part pieces. So if you don't have anything in stock, you can click on omit zero and then that will reduce this list. You can, you need to select a piece here that you actually want or you can do a number of them. So you can actually check all, select everything. I'm gonna uncheck all, I'm just gonna do one here. So we'll do the uh, clay pair and I need to select what type of bill of material I want. So in this case, I'm just gonna do an illustrated assembly here as one example. You can um, try the different ones and see what they actually look like. Click continue. And you'll see a report come up like this. It gives you the different prices. So the wholesale direct retail pricing, list of what's actually involved in going in it, the costs, a uh, picture here. So this is a picture of our clay and the total cost for creation. Can then uh, continue to print that. So click continue, give you an option to print a PDF or um, print it to your printer. So you can print that out as a hard copy or save it as a PDF if you wish.